All right, this is grade five, module four, lesson 28. And in this lesson, uh, at this point, students are pretty good at learning how to divide unit fractions by whole numbers or whole numbers by unit fractions. So students are pretty good at that part. And so the purpose of this lesson is students are going to be connecting the equations with word problems. And they're going to be writing either, I guess in this lesson, they're going to be writing their word problems to correspond with the, um, the equation that they've been given. So let's get started on this. So on this problem, it says create and solve a division story about seven feet of rope that is modeled by this tape diagram. So this big tape diagram here represents seven feet of rope, and we can see that there's a series of halves that this tape diagram has been cut into, and we don't know how many halves there are. So first off, the expression is, oops, and there we go, is seven divided by one half. We can even kind of see that the answer is 14. So 7 times 2 is equal to 14. So we know that the answer is 14. Uh, now, the story problem, we're supposed to create a story problem involving the 7 feet of rope. So this one example might be, and I'm not going to write the whole thing out, but, oh, we have uh, a 7-foot piece of rope is cut um, cut into one-half foot lengths. How many of these lengths can we create? So that's one example. Parents, teachers, obviously. Uh, we want students to know the expression, but they're not all going to come to the uh, same storyline here, So, and that's okay. Um, so teachers, your job is to really uh, differentiate and watch all the students and their stories to see if their stories are accurate and they match. A common uh, mistake would be that they accidentally write a story that would be for one half divided by seven rather than seven divided by a half. Let's move on. So here again, we uh, are going to create a story problem and we see that we begin with a third, and that third has been cut into three pieces. Uh, so first off, the expression, the numerical expression for this, or the equation, would be one-third divided by three. All right, And we can see that if this third is also cut into three pieces, and this third is also cut into three pieces, that one little piece right here is going to equal one-ninth. It's one out of nine pieces, because you can see there's nine pieces total, and this is one out of nine. So we could see that the this is our expression, our equation, numerical equation. Here's our answer, one-ninth. Now the story problem that would go along with this. Oh, one example might be uh, we have... I have... Uh, a one-third pound bag of almonds. I love almonds. If I share it, if I share it equally with my two friends, how much would we get? How much would each of us get? And there's three people, even though it says two, because it's two friends, but I'm there, so there's three people. So we've got a third pound of almonds, and we're sharing it amongst three people. And how much would each person get? Well, each person would get a ninth of a pound of almonds. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just noticed this is talking about flour. So, oh, I don't have a pound of almonds. Bummer. 
I love almonds. <laughs> I have a one-third pound bag of flour. Oh, not nearly as fun. So if I share it equally with my two friends, how much would each of us get? Well, so we would each get one-ninth pound of flour. Not as fun. Okay, let's move on. So on this one, we're doing more of the same. We are drawing the tape diagram, and we're creating the word problem, and then we're solving. And at this point, I think I'm just going to show you the tape diagram and solve it. I'm going to let you, as the teacher or the parent, come up with some examples for word problems. So for this first one, 2 divided by a quarter. So we're going to begin by drawing 2. So there's our 2. And if I wanted to, I could say, well, there's 1 and there's 1. Now, a quarter means we're going to figure out how many fourths fit in this whole thing. And so we can see that each hole has four fourths. And there's two holes, so two times four is eight. So I'm going to write that down over here. So two divided by one fourth is found by doing two times four, which is equal to eight. And there's our answer. So what would be an example of a word problem? Oh, maybe um, I have two pounds of almonds, and I'm going to put them into little baggies of a quarter pound each. How many baggies would I be able to create of, for, with my almonds? And I could create eight bags. Another, let's move down to here. So one-third divided by five. So one-third, so we're going to first begin by drawing one-third. So here is our one-third. And then it says we're supposed to divide that up into five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to know the value of one of those little pieces. So... Um, to solve it, we'd go over here and we'd say, okay, well, one-third divided by five. Well, instead of calling this one-third, we could call this, and I'm going to get a different colored pen here, and I could call this five-fifteenths. We could call this five-fifteenths. So, um, we're going to call this five-fifteenths divided by Five and five fifteenths divided by five. We, you know, we we wrote this in earlier. We wrote this in unit form. Five fifteenths divided by five, and five fifteenths divided by five gives us one fifteenth. Because I want to know this one little piece, and there's fifteen pieces in the whole. And one little piece is one fifteenth. So the answer is one fifteenth. So, hmm, what would be a good example? Well, we could say, I have one third uh, of a yard of licorice, and I'm going to cut it up equally amongst five people. How much of the licorice, or how much of a yard of licorice would each person get? And of course, the answer would be one fifteenth of a yard. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 28.